In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a lifesaver, how you can bring back a timeline backup from the same project without changing anything to your initial project. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you how it's done. And this is my timeline. As you can see, this is the timeline three. I've got a few timelines and I've done a lot of editing here. It's a long, long project. And then you can see, uh, let's assume that I've realized that, you know, I'm missing this clip over here and I want to go back and find it. Okay, for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here in the master and find my timeline three. Here it is, timeline three. What you have to do, you have to go and uh, right click on the mouse and go to restore timeline backup. And you'll be presented with a few options over here. You see, uh, today is the seventh. This is from yesterday where I've been editing and this is the fifth. So this is two days before. Now I'm gonna go and click on this one. And you see, straight away you'll see here, timeline three backup one, you see? And what's cool about this, that this one here this is a different timeline. It's not the same timeline. It hasn't been overridden by DaVinci Resolve. What it did, it actually, it's a copy. It's a separate copy of my initial timeline. You see, if I'm gonna go here now and press and you see timeline three, it's the exact timeline I was editing before. Pretty incredible. Now, if I wanna go back again, I'm gonna go back now and look for timeline three go back again, go to restore timeline backup. Maybe I want a backup from yesterday at one o'clock or let's say at, uh, you know, 219. All right, I'm going to go and click on this one here. You see, this is a different version. If I go back now here, timeline three, backup two. Here we are. Pretty incredible. DaVinci Resolve, it's absolutely it's just using common sense and uses experience of the real editors because this was so, so painful, especially when I used to use Final Cut Pro. I used to struggle a lot because I couldn't find the backups. And you know, if you've been editing a lot and then you're missing a file or an audio or something is missing here in between an effect. Ah, thank you, DaVinci Resolve. I am absolutely impressed with this feature and I'm very, very excited to be using it more and more. And, uh, you know, this is it. Just, uh, you know, go here and you can create as many uh, backups as you wish. And the fact that they are actually separate, it's absolutely incredible. Look at this. You've got your timeline two. If I'm going to go to timeline two now, this is usually it's a very short uh, timeline, but still I'm going to go now and this is my timeline two. I'm going to go and click on it. And again, restore timeline backup. You see here, you still have six. So probably DaVinci Resolve has six backups, which is just pretty good, quite decent. And you see, it's all this time. And I'm gonna press here. You see, you've got a, another uh, backup. And again, just to double check, go here, timeline two, backup, you see? This is the initial backup and you can have as many backups as you want and this is it friends thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it interesting and useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next one